This is Graham Goldsack, incidentally, <laughs> a dear old friend of mine. He's come to visit. But we're looking at this book on Gobekli Tepe, and in it there's this um, picture of these vultures who are apparently taking apart this dead person from, well, this is actually Chatal Hill. There's a myth connected with that. They're saying in the book that they're folding their arms around the, the skull of the person. Now, what, what's that from? Oh, well, I, this reminds me of the, uh, from a long while ago, the Castaneda books. I remember, yeah. Uh, where, when it's time to die, the eagle would come and eat the bubble of consciousness Gosh. that represents each human mind, yeah. spirit and uh, take it back to the great creator in the skies yes yes what we might call as heaven i suppose this would oh, be nice the um, one consciousness and you think this figure here on the top of this pole who is being covered by these two vultures represents that yes the, the body. headless body That's represents there. the dead body yeah and i think the the head represents the awareness or the consciousness of or the soul yeah of the person there's this figure down here bottom left mm. of this rather odd crumpled figure with lumps in his back like a diseased being going down to the charnel house i wonder if that symbolizes the beginning of the pathway up to there where the vultures come. They obviously played a very big part in the culture, these vultures. Um, so I'm putting them in the painting world. Mm.